Hey there, my name is Julian and I have been a Webflow developer for the past seven years. And at this point in time, there is literally no other way that I would start a Webflow site other than what I am about to show you right here. And as you can see from my screen, I am talking about Reloom. Now, if you're in the Webflow community, you've probably at least heard of Reloom, more than likely you've tried it. But Reloom has come a long way since it was just a Webflow component library. It is absurd. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to show you in about 10 minutes. I'm going to go from idea, which I don't even have right now, to the perfect starting point and pretty much a finished website. So anyways, let's get right into it. First things first, you are going to have to clone the Reloom style guide. All of the links that I am showing you here are going to be in the description if you want to follow with me. So let's go ahead and clone it. And again, I don't even know what I'm going to build right here. So. Let's go ahead and think for five seconds. I am going to build a site for a flight school. There you go. So a place that you go to learn how to fly a plane. So I'm going to call it Frederick's Flight School. Or Freddy. Let's go Freddy. We're on a first name basis. Freddy's Flight School. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and hit create site and let it do its thing. The next thing that we're going to need to go ahead and do is install the Reloom app on this. So let's go ahead and let this open. I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. Do you need to hit publish at this point? Probably not. I'm going to anyways. So let's do that. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and close off this tab. Now the Reloom site builder import app. Let's go ahead and hit install. And now we're just going to wait a second because I have a whole lot of Webflow sites and this page takes a while to load. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and search for Freddy, Freddy and his flight school. There we go. Let's go ahead and click that and then hit authorize app. So now what's going to happen is it's going to install it. It's going to open the designer. We should see up here. It's going to say app installed in just a minute. So let's go to request design control from myself as if that makes any sense. I'm excited for Webflow's real-time collaboration tool to come out. All right, so if I open this, we can see the Reloom app is right there. It says app installed. That means we're good to go. Now let's head over into Reloom. So here we are, and I'm going to go ahead and make a new project. And I'm going to call this project Freddy's Flight School. So let's go and give it a name. Freddy's Flight School. I'm going to say a flight school for teaching beginners how to fly a plane called Freddy's Flight School. All right, so you can optimize this prompt. Like, I'm just going to show you in its most basic form to show you what you can do. If you're actually using this for a production project, give it some thought. Try to explain it. Try to explain the brand voice. Try to explain everything because this right here is the starting point. And of course, we can go and select the number of pages, the language, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and hit generate sitemap. So it's going to do its thing here. And, you know, you're probably looking at this and going, it's just a sitemap. Who cares? Yeah, it's not just a sitemap, buddy. Stick around and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, so first things first, we can see all of this stuff here has been generated. We have a home page, we have an about page, a courses page, a blog page, blog post, and course details. That is awesome. Now, if this fits all of your needs, you can carry on, but you don't need to. So let's say, for example, here we want to change something. I can go ahead and double click and say I want to highlight the, these specific selling points, whatever it is. So my recommendation to you is if you're using this for a production project, don't just go ahead and try to rip through Reloom. What I'm doing here in 10 minutes, spend an hour and go through it with a fine tooth comb. I think that's how the saying goes. And just make sure everything is perfect in the sitemap and in the next steps that I'm going to show you. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to leave this as it is right now. I think it looks good. It's exactly what I need. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to wireframe. And the next thing it's going to do is it's going to figure out a whole bunch of components. Now, here's the thing. AI sucks at front end, at least right now, as of the time of recording this, August 2025. Um, but Reloom doesn't suck at front end. And the reason why is because Reloom has been working on a list of components that they have designed and they have built themselves over the years. And that's what this is using. So it's not just using AI slop, it's using actual human built components. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll in over here. And as we can see, we have our nice wireframes. And to me, it looks great. Um, along with that, we have copy generated. And the thing that I want to say about AI generated copy 
is to be honest with you, a lot of people say, no, no, AI generated copy is bad. If the copy is good, the copy is good. But if this is a site for a paying client, don't just let AI generate it and then not give it a second look. Let AI generate it as a placeholder and go through everything. Change what's bad, leave what's good. Who cares if you made it, if AI made it, or if a pro copywriter made it? If it's good copy, it's good copy. Who gives a dang? Okay, so anyways, here we are, and let's say you don't necessarily like one part of it. So let's say I'm not a big fan of this section. Kind of not. I don't know why. It's a pretty standard section. Uh, I can hit shuffle over here, and it's just going to pick a new one for me based on AI. So I much prefer this section already. Um, so I'm going to leave that as it is to show you the shuffle feature. And then let's say this one right here, this testimonials, I just want to pick something else. I can click in. I can find one that I like. So I'm going to say, for example, this one is pretty nice. And I can add three columns, two columns, slider, yes or no, content, type one, type two. Let's go ahead and pick this one actually and make it a slider. Look at that. So again, you have the power to go through everything, pick what you like, change what you don't like, and all of that. So anyways, like I said, go through this in detail. Look at every section. Really give it some deep thought in terms of what you want the site to look like. And once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is go to style guide. And this is where things start to get mind blowing. First things first, this is the exact style that I wanted. I wanted like a dark and a light blue. Don't know how it knew that, but it somehow did know that um, because this looks absolutely beautiful to me. This section here doesn't. I'm going to go ahead and change it to that. Um, so now, anyways, I love this, and I'm actually not going to change the colors because I love it, but you can go ahead and change these colors however you want. You can change the typography. You can change the styles of the buttons. Actually, let's go ahead and change the styles of the buttons. I'm just going to hit shuffle on that. Uh, this one gave me a nice kind of shadowed look, and I'm a big fan of it, so... Let's go over here and take a look. That looks beautiful, uh, but this is not the end of it. So once your style guide is good, you like the colors, you like the typography, you like the UI styling, then you're going to go into design, which is currently in beta, but it has been amazing from my experience. So now, again, we can see the entire site, the wireframes that we had, now turned into actual designs. And we can go through here and change anything we want. So one thing that I would say is I'd probably rather this section here be white background and then the one below it be blue. So I'm going to go ahead and select this scheme over here. And then for this one, I'm going to go ahead and change it to scheme three. Okay, so that to me adds a little bit more of a, a visual breakup. I think this actually quite this looks quite nice. I'm a big fan of it. Um, so everything is looking good to me. Again, you building this for a client, go through every section, pick the schemes well, make sure everything is good. Spend an hour in Reloom and you will save 30, 40, 50 hours in Webflow. So let's say we went through all of this and everything is looking exactly as we want it to look. Perfect. What do we do next? Well, there's an export button up here, but that's pretty useless. It's just going to tell us what I'm about to tell you now. Head back over into your Webflow site, and I am going to launch the Reloom app. And then it is going to show us our project. So here we can see Freddy's Flight School. Let's go ahead and click Start on that, and I'm going to go and do Design. So it's going to ask us which pages we want to import. Now, I have built nothing in this project. I have not clicked it. I have not added a page. I have done nada, nothing. All right, now I'm going to hit continue and let Reloom do its thing. So start import. We're going to speed this section up and you can just watch Reloom go crazy. Have fun. All right, so we are done here. And as Reloom says, 25 hours saved. And no, that is not an exaggeration. So now I'm going to hit done. I'm going to close this off and I'm going to show you what we have. So our style guide has been made with all of the styles that we want, the fonts that we want, everything looks exactly like we want. The buttons have that exact same effect that we defined in Reloom. Going to go to the home page and I'm going to hit publish and take a look at this on the live site. So here's the thing. This right now, I've been a Webflow developer for seven years. I know how to build everything from scratch exactly as I want it to be and that's all well and good. Reloom coming around at this point in time 
being a Webflow developer is like being a guy who knows how to use a screwdriver when the drill came out. Uh, because this just quite literally will save you absurd amounts of time. And this isn't something that I think you should just use for simple builds. I think this is something you should use for large and complex client projects. Because at the end of the day, most of these sections are going to be standard sections. Even if you have some crazy animations that you build in, this right here is your starting point. So if I go ahead and open the site, as we can see, everything looks exactly as it looked in Reloom. It looks perfect. Everything has animations that we want it to have. Our slider is working. This right here is the perfect starting point to building a site. And if I go back into Webflow, this isn't just some generated stuff. This was done in perfect client first. All of my clonables have been made. It is 100% responsive. I cannot praise this product highly enough. This is literally the best way to start a Webflow site in 2025. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.